but I think it's about the Two, one, two. All right, guys, a little late starting. Just waiting for my pizza. My oven is just the worst. It just takes whatever the cooking instructions say for the time. You have to like add another ten percent <laughs> at least. Or I could cook it a bit hotter, I suppose. But then I don't know. Low and slow is generally better. For most things. So welcome to the weekend wind down. Where I'm just going to play some, you know, chill games. Uh, get some chat going maybe. Just talk about, talk about stuff. Just have a proper little chill. Because some games, um, in my list at least, uh, don't, don't require, don't need the stress of the action. And you can just chill out and play them. Uh, this is one that it was on sale, I think, a couple of weeks ago for like a pound, maybe. Uh, Colin Thiel's Storm Boy the Game, based on the book of the same title by that dude there. Uh, um, in a little bit of research, this game is less than an hour, generally. So I have a second game to... But it's just chill out, so don't expect too too much. Um, but I mean, for now, let's get a crack in. Got some food here. Got my water here. Got some caffeination. Not sure how much of that you heard, because oh, <laughs> maybe jump. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the screen. Seems quite a peaceful, pretty game. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. There we go. It's one of those, you know, just a chill game. A chill game. Storm Boy lived with Hideaway Tom, his father. Oh, I am in control. Okay. 
Oh, I pressed B. What happened? Oh, B is like quick game. <laughs> That's how chill this game is. There's no... Uh, there's three little ducks there too. Oh, pretty. Years before, when Stormboy's mother had... Go back, does it come back up? Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> I missed some narrative, come back. Years before, when Stormboy's mother had died, he had left Adelaide and gone to live like a hermit by the sea. Oh. The only other man who lived anywhere near them was Fingerbone Bill, the Aboriginal. So Australia, then? At first, Hideaway was afraid that Stormboy would get lost, and so Hideaway looked for a landmark. Cool. It's like an interactive book, right? At first, Hideaway was... I already read that one. Didn't miss anything, did I? No. I've got an achievement list here somewhere, too. Click, click. There we go. Uh, we'll get a little landmark. One day he found a piece of timber lying with the driftwood on the beach. <gasps> there, said Hideaway. Now you'll always have a lookout post. You'll be able to see it far up the beach and you won't get lost. Is that supposed to rhyme or... Some distance from the place Hideaway and Fingerbone had built their humpies, the whole stretch of Korong, Kurong, and the land around it had been turned into a sanctuary. There is an achievement here for turning 50... change direction 15 times, I think? We'll just get that out of the way now. Let slide. I wish I could, like... Walk that well on sand. It's been a long time since I felt sand under my feet, not gonna lie. Some distance from the place where S Hideaway and Fingerbone. Oh, I already read that paragraph. Let us continue. Is that a stork? Pelican? In the early mornings, the tall birds stood up and clapped and cheered the rising sun. Oh, there's a birdie. Are they boobies? What are they, specifically? Stormboy felt the excitement and wonder of it. He often sat on the shore all day with his knees up and his chin cupped in his hands. Sometimes he wished he had been born an ibis or a pelican. Oh. <gasps> oh. Daydreams like this can last as long as you like. This game is so chill. So nice and relaxing. Wow. Some dreaming of being an ibis. So that's what type of bird that is. That's an ibis. That's cool. It's pretty. It says, the little guide I've got here says just keep flying backwards and forwards until the achievement pops. So It's really, really pretty, isn't it? I quite like the games that look... You know, simple like this. You know, the kind of block colours and... It's not that they're lacking detail. I don't know how to describe it, really. Um, let's fly all the way to Antarctica and see what happens. <gasps> well, that, some kind of duck. There's pelicans there, too. Oh, it's so pretty and so relaxing. The music and... I like chill shit. <laughs> I want to stream chill shit all the time because um, I need some action in my life too, you know? But for weekend wind down, I think it's pretty perfect, if I'm honest. Pretty perfect. Cool. Well, the achievement popped, so. I just can't. It's so beautiful, so chill, so relaxing. Uh, for food, I have pizza here. I'm not sure if I could turn my oven off. Pretty sure I did. I'm pretty good for it. <laughs> I might have to check at some stage. 
Uh, my visitor pelican. Okay. Oh man, is that my father? His father's voice roused him, and he ran down to the beach to help dig a bag full of big cockles for their own tea. Oh, those little. Okay. So it's like a game made of mini games, right? A hundred cockles is the limit per person. Find as many as you can. Hmm. Hold A to pick up a fish. I mean, I don't know what it's talking about. Oh, I picked... Oh, a cockle! Oh, I understand. Okay, so just... just... Oh, I want a different part of the achievement list here than I thought. <laughs> so I just need to dig all these up. Very nice. Which they say the limit was? A hundred? I'm not going to take a hundred. Is that a real thing? A limit? They limit the uh, amount of cockles you can take? I know some places um, won't let you take uh, rocks off a beach even. Um... For whatever reason. I guess like... I don't know. I don't know what the thought process is there. At least in the in the UK, I think it's deemed the Queen's property. I think that's the way it works. Not entirely sure, but... Open for uh, any insight into that. Lovely, lovely. So it's just chill little mini games, isn't it? Love it. So nice. After trying to play things like Layers of Fear, <laughs> this is nice and chill and relax and yeah. Definitely. When Stormboy went walking along the beach, or over the sand hills, or in the sanctuary, the birds were not afraid. They knew he was a friend. Oh, Hello. Hello, Mrs. Oh, sorry, I've got to try my Australian accent now, haven't I? Hello, Mrs. Penguin, said Stormboy each day. How are your bits of thistle down today? Eh, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm quite good with accents, generally, but... But sometimes Stormboy saw things that oh, made him sad. In spite of the warnings and notices, people hurt the birds. Aww. Sad. One morning, Stormboy found everything uproar and confusion. Oh no! They heard a faint rustling and crying, and there were, and there under the sticks of grass, broken nests were three tiny pelicans. Still alive. Oh, How does he know that the parent bird isn't... Anyway. Stormboy picked them up carefully and hurried back with them. Two of the baby pelicans were fairly strong. Two of the baby pelicans were fairly strong, but the third was desperately sick. It was three days before the baby pelican was well enough to sit up and ask for food. And that was how Mr. Proud, Mr. Ponder and Mr. Percival came to live with Stormboy. Cool. Okay. Oh, I see. Ooh. Oh, it's like a circle. How do I... Do I have to throw it, do I? Oh, there we go. Oh, sorry, I threw it way too far. Sorry, birdie. Sorry, birdie. Oh, I see. I'm aiming it towards 
It's a really weird control system, you know. To launch it. Did you get it? Yeah, he did. So now I just need to get this one. So not quite so hard. A bit harder than that, though. Boing! You got it! Yeah! Pick up a fish and aim for the left bird. I'm just reading the uh, thingy here. Pick up a fish and aim for the left bird. Feed into the other bird. I'll show you how to see. Okay, so I've got to keep feeding the left bird. Uh, excuse you. Just holding the thingy in place. Oh. You have to do it with their mouths are open then. Out there. Oh my gosh. Can't get the angle right. <laughs> it's about there, I think. There we go. Om nom nom nom. <laughs> and a little angry head shake. That's that bit done. Press Y to leave the minigame. Cool. So I think the minigames like don't end until you want them to end. So that's pretty cool. It's be good for uh, interactive experience for a parent and child, I think, actually. Maybe. Not something I have to worry about personally, but I'm just going to grab a slice of pizza. Mmm, it's good. Ugh, just cheese and tomato. Although it's cool, it's marketed as deliciously cheesy. <laughs> Not a big fan of um, deep pan pizzas usually, but this one's pretty good. It was part of um, there's a supermarket. Anyone who doesn't know, called Co-op. The cooperative. And they do a thing called um, Frozen, the £5 frozen meal deal, where you can basically get like £12 of food for a fiver. And this uh, pizza was in it this week, as well as some chicken burgers, Alpha Bites, peas, ice lollies. Oh, so good. Mm. It was good pizza. At last, Hideaway spoke sternly to Stormboy. Mr. Proud, Mr. Ponder, and Mr. Percival will have to go back to the sanctuary where they came from. We just can't afford to feed them anymore. Aww. Sad. I mean, I think he understands, though. Time for respectable pelicans to get their own breakfast, Hideaway grumbled, instead of begging from their friends. And as time went on, he really meant what he said. Stormboy was sad, but he always knew when his father had made up his mind. Yes, Dad, he said. Hideaway sailed for five minutes up the, up the sanctuary before he stopped the boat. So sa I thought sanctuary was like a building. Like a sanctuary? Bird sanctuary or whatever? But I think it might be the name of like a river or something. Before he stopped the boat. Off you go, he said. Now you'll have to look after yourselves. Or oh, it might even be the ocean. Sanctuary might even be the ocean. Hideaway and Stormboy spent the day fishing. It was fine and sunny, but somehow it seemed cold. Ah, oh, Mr. Percival. Oh, sorry. Australian accent. <clears throat> Mr. Percival. It's Mr. Percival. Mr. Percival has come back home. Aww. Cool. 
cool. Oh, ever since the miracle of Mr. Percival's rescue, he had been Storm Boy's favourite. Is he following me? Kind of. It's like, let's go. <laughs> let's go, Evie. Storm Boy often had fun on the beach with Mr. Percival. Oh, boat. What's oh, right, okay. This is nice. Chill. Mr. Percival's his favorite. Oh. Cool. Awesome. I'm assuming it's not going to be like a life gauge or anything because of the level of chill of the game. It's a really pretty game. Gonna have another slice of pizza. Keep forget. I forgot. To, nearly forgot to move my mic because I'm wearing a headset mic. Nearly forgot to move it out of the way. That would have been disastrous. So chill. So chill. Oh. He's doing it out himself. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I guess that was like his lung capacity. Get back on the boat. Cool. So it's loads of little... Little mini games, isn't it? It's really, really cool. Really, really like it. Come on, Mr. Percival. Oh, no, little birdies. <gasps> Another minigame. <gasps> oh, we can draw whatever we want. Am I under... Yeah, I am on an 18-plus <laughs> stream. <laughs> you know what's coming. Dun, 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 dun. Because I am a child. That's hair. <laughs> awesome. That's a cool mini game. If ever I don't have a notepad, I'll. Uh... <laughs> it's just there now. <laughs> That's cool. Whenever he threw the ball, or a smooth pebble, or a sea urchin, or an old fishing reel, Mr. Percival snapped it up and brought it back. <gasps> Play fetch with Mr. Percival. I like the for as long as you like thing. Oh shit, so I really shouldn't have thrown it that far, should I? I just have this as like a desktop widget, just this fetch game. Whee! Oh, you actually had to fly out to get it. I dove. Dived? Dove? Don't know what's correct there. Get it then. Oh, okay. Do birds fetch? Is that something birds do? I know birds, most breeds of bird are pretty, pretty, um, pretty smart. Like in their own way, not in like, they're not going to go get any Nobel Prizes or anything, but, um, <laughs> in terms of relaying, not even relaying information, but understanding information. No, I don't know how to word it. It's not like... Sorry, pizza in my mouth. I'll wait.
Simcoe. I think animal intelligence is sort of how many processes they can like think about at the same time. I know it's not the same sort of sentience as human human sentience, as far as I'm aware. I may be completely wrong on that, but it's my understanding that um, animals don't really have rational thought, they just have instinctual thought. If Stormboy went swimming or sliding down sand hills or playing in the sand, Mr. Percival found a good spot nearby and perched there heavily to watch and wait until it was over. <gasps> I'll call my future house. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> That's cool. Reminds me of one time um, when we had a heavy snowfall, which doesn't happen here very often. Um, we were like, well, we'd, we should go sledding. So um, we took a sign from outside a house, a for sale sign, <laughs> and used that. Like, removed it from the wooden picket and... Uh, and use that to slide down the hill. That was a really, really good day, actually. It was a really good day. And then we had a snowball fight with a local Polish um, community. I don't think they were a family family. They were, but I think they lived together. And we had a three-on-three -three snowball fight. And we won, so. <laughs> but it was really, really cool. Really, really cool. It's a really, really good day. How long is this beach? I think it might have just gone forever. It did say for as long as you like, didn't it? So that's making me all like I don't know, warm and fuzzy. Very wholesome, wholesome kind of game. One day, as Hideaway was watching them play, he had an idea. Oh, did you see the bird just try and catch up? If he can bring these things back to you, perhaps he can carry things away too. I don't know why the adult doesn't have an Australian accent. <laughs> Just gonna grab a bite of pizza. It was the year of the greatest storms. Is that like a thing that actually that happened in around Adelaide? They began in May, even before the winter had started. When is winter out there? June, July? In the darkest of early morning, Stormboy suddenly woke with Hideaway's voice in his ears. It's a wreck! Hideaway said. A shipwreck on the shore! <laughs> kind of the Dead Island um, accent. <laughs> Look at them, Stormboy yelled. Oh, sorry. Look at them, Stormboy yelled. We must help them. They'll be drowned. How can we help? How can we help? Said his father. We can't throw a line. It's too far. Oh no! Stormboy gave a great shout. Mr. Percival. Not in an English accent, though. Mr. Percival. Mr. Percival is the one to do it. He can fly. Four. Percival needs to fly over this. Oh. What did I do? What did I do wrong? Oh, I have to fight the wind. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's really actually quite hard. Oh. So, ah, oh, there we go. And then whenever the wind tries to try and keep him in the middle of the screen. It's actually quite skill-based. Again, just a mini game. We love it. Oh. 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 Oh, you have to restart from the beginning too. Little, little taps. Oh, the rain shows you the direction the wind is. That make and the strength of it as well. That's oh, that makes sense. Oh my gosh, I didn't press anything then. Oh, I thought it's like it was like the same in each section, like, but it's not. It it's uh, I think it's on a global timer. I think. And that, oh, come on. Are we nearly there? Yes. You've done it. You've done it. Stormboy, Hideaway, and Fingerbone shouted together as Mr. Percival landed on the beach. 
You're a good, brave, clever pelican. Oh, we're now in the final parts of the game, by the way. <laughs> and I mean... <laughs> the time. <laughs> Between them all, they slowly hauled the captain ashore and dragged him, pale and half-drowned, onto the beach. Saved! He kept saying weakly. Oh, weakly. Saved! He kept saying weakly. Saved by a miracle. And a pelican. You're a big, wonderful bird, he said. He looked up at Hideaway. When he dies, you must send him to a museum. We put a label on the case. The pelican that saved six men's lives. Okay, nice wholesome scenario. Saved them. And then it's like, but when he dies. <laughs> Hideaway looked round quickly. He was glad Stone Boy hadn't heard the captain's words. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's fun. For the rest of the year, everyone was happy. Everyone everywhere. The storms went back to the cold south. The sun warmed the sand hills, and sprang, spring ran over the countryside with new leaves and little bush buds. Before long, the open season for duck shooting came around again. Oh. I didn't know they had things like that in Australia. From the start, Mr. Percival hated the shooters. He harried them whenever he could. I don't know what harried means. Sometimes he just sat staring at them rudely until they grew impatient and chased him away. Oh, because obviously the duck season you can't shoot the pelicans, right? But most of all, he flew round and round their hiding places in wide circles like a cumbersome old aeroplane on patrol. It's weird seeing aeroplane and not airplane. Airplane's much more commonly seen now. Before long, the ducks understood Mr. Percival's warnings and kept away. The shooters grew angrier and angrier. The police are, are the police armed in Australia? Just asking. Oh no. And so it went on until ter one terrible morning in February. Don't don't shoot! It's Mr. Purse. No! His voice was drowned by the roar of the gun. In the world, Hideaway said sadly, there will always be men who are cruel, just as there will always be men who are lazy or stupid or wise or kind. Today you've seen what cruel and stupid men can do. And at nine o'clock, Mr. Percival died. Ooh, he fly to heaven. Oh, sad. Oh, we can wind down and everyone's crying, <laughs> releasing a week of emotion. That's what it is. Releasing a week of emotion. Oh, Mr. Percival. I hope he ended up in that museum. Down there. Go, Mr. Percival, go. Can I go lower than the clouds? No. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's what I was trying to get to. Oh, it's like a perch. Oh, 
was so sad. Mr. Percival, Stormby whispered. You're the best, best friend I ever had. So far. Best friends so far. And always above them in their mind's eye, they can see the shape of two big wings in the storm clouds and the flying scud two wings of white with trailing black edges spread across the sky. For birds like Mr. Percival, do not really die. Oh, I had kind of a happy ending sentiment. Oh, cool. I'm just going to unlock the last achievement. I just have to go in and out of each mini game. That was a cool little story. Cool little game. Very, very chill. Oh, okay, I'm not going to draw a knob this time. Let's draw... Let's see, can you guess what it is yet? Uh-huh. Ooh. I don't think I've got enough sand. Nope. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. There we go. My name's Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. Kinda, it's a new Sonic character called um, uh, Burgite. And he's a um, jelly. <laughs> what the games were there? That was probably the coolest one, actually, to be fair. Or the feeding fish one was pretty cool too. Oh yeah, that one. I forgot about that one. Remember, remember. Oh, that one was quite cool too. It reminded me of Connectimals a little. Bye, Mr. Percival. See, I can play with him forever. It's always in my memories. Cockle hunting? Hunting. <laughs> I don't think hunting's the right word. <laughs> oh yeah, flying as a... Why aren't they in the order they, they were in? Hmm. Don't know. Maybe it's the order that they were, like, developed in or something. Fish feeding? Greedy pelicans would just keep eating fish. In the boat one. Oh, with the diving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out. Swim. It's not going to be very deep here, is it? Oh, I see. That's why the... Um... Oh, it's pretty. Little bits of coral and stuff. Eminemones. <laughs> Good reference. Oh yeah, that one was that one was cool too. That one was very cool. And the last one of him flying to heaven. Or, you know, fading away. Like uh Odin in Ragnarok. Oh. That was really cool. Cool little story. Nice little easy a thousand G as well. For, you know, those people who do that. And it only cost a pound. I think it costs less than that, actually, to be honest. Can't remember now. Right, okay, I'm going to set up for the next game, which is Alea, which is another kind of chill, no stress game. So uh, I'm going to have a cigarette break too in that time. So I'll be back when the timer hits an hour, which will be in eight minutes' time. So I will see you then. See you real, real soon.
and we were back in the room. The game audio for the last section of the stream, for the entirety of that Storm Boy, um, doubled up for whatever reason. But it should be fixed now. So don't worry your little selves. Sorry about that. I can only apologise. But I mean, it should be okay. <laughs> so. Okay, this is um, Alea or Alea. I think it's Alea. Um, similar to games like Tacoma, um, Springs to Mind, Gone Home. You know, those sort of, well, I hate the term, but um, walking simulators. Because, like, they're interactive. It's not a walking simulator, it's like an interactive story, but... You know. So this is labelled as three to four hours for an achievement completion. But um, on another poll to get through the story says one to two. So, I mean, we'll play this for the rest of the stream regardless. So uh, let's go and enjoy. Oh my gosh. Left stick to move, right stick to look around. <laughs> A or RT to sit down. Hmm, interesting. Expect objects. Okay. Pretty standard. Pretty standard controller setup. This game features streaming images and flashing lights. I may not be suitable for people with face sensitive epilepsy. Consider that your warning. If you are photosensitive. Uh, do be aware of that. Oh, wow. Reading! In the year 2093, humanity's hope is dwindling. Some 20 years ago, a neurological mutation broke out, causing uncontrollable rage in every Earth-born child. No real cure was found except for an intervention that pacifies the children, but also makes them cold and lifeless. The pandemic set off a demographic crisis, making the colonization of a new world an urgent necessity. Luckily, an Earth-like exoplanet within an achievable distance from the solar system has been recently discovered. Pulling volunteers from around the globe, a first-of-a-kind interstellar spacecraft was built and sent to colonize the yet unexplored planet. The gargantuan ship was named Pilgrimage, embodying the hopes of all of the humanities. Everyone's dismayed surely after successful arrival of the Pilgrimage. I was trying to be dramatic and ended up running out of time. Someone, can someone uh, get that clip and um, put the Star Wars music to it? That'd be great. Oh, so laugh. Oh. Say this out loud. Yes. Deep I shot. Forgive me, but I must repeat this one last time. The procedure will not erase any of your memories. It will Where is he? Steal some of the map's neural pathways, thus blocking certain memory clusters. As a result, I think he's above me, right behind me. Your day to day life will be moderately diminished, and you might struggle with long term memory access. Are you completely certain uh, excuse this me. is what you want? Yes. I'm not certain that Otherwise we wouldn't have a game. Are you? I can Boop. These pathways will, will never be reopened. I am aware of that. Is your decision final? Can yes. you see that bell off your chest? Yeah, I suppose. Is she pregnant also? Is it going to go all Edith Finch on me? Please, state your name. River Alea Catherine oh. Jones. Ah, Alea, yeah. Cool name. You will start to relax, and at the end you will feel entirely void. One. Two. <laughs> That's where it reminded me of the that's all, folks, <laughs> kind of. Or, um, 
come with me and you'll be <laughs> the land of pure imagination. I need some water in my throat. Throta. Whoa. Cool. Why am I on the outside? Oh. Trippy. Um. What? Pod looks like a spaceship pod, you know? Oh, I see. That was the examination tape. So that's me. That's... Oh! My god, it looks like something... Someone, uh... Made in dreams. <laughs> uh... I mean, it's cool. It's a really unusual visual style. Really unusual. But I understand the photosensitivity warning now. <laughs> okay, so chapter two, maybe? <laughs> oh. Good to see Nokia still around in the uh, future. <laughs> cool. Hey, did I wake you? Yeah. Yes. No. I must have dozed off. It's okay. When did you arrive? Is that a beach ball outside? How's the baby doing? Um Oh. Yes, it is going to go all either Finch on me. <laughs> How about you? Uh. It turned out that someone on board of the shuttle Europe allegedly came down with a new flu, so now they're stuck in the dock. Cool. For decontamination. <laughs> sort of bit um. He's in there too, poor sucker. With the current situation. <laughs> Oh, water is so good when you need it, right? I was surprised too. Still just as creepy as on the by calls. We'll get along fine though. I can feel it. Ethan Emmanuel knows women best. <laughs> uh orbit oh no, I pressed one button. Shit. Let me look. I needed more law. <laughs> oh what's that in the sky? Lights on. Oh, there's a thing about babies being born on the pl Earth, right? L, you there? Uh, yes, Em. Sorry, a bit slow. Where am I meant to go, though? Uh, Pressing L, T, or B while holding an object will throw it. Okay, I understand. Oh. Nice. Let's have a little tidy. <laughs> um. That's a weird, uh... Oh, I understand. I thought the draw went in that bit. And I was like, that's, that doesn't make sense. Everything's just going to fall to the bottom every time. <laughs> I just like sit that up correctly. Nice. Isn't there a thing like you could sit down or something? I guess like certain seats. 
<laughs> There's also a door panel missing there, isn't there? So it'll be orange, would it? Um. Oh, that'll probably be it then. Oh, I have to hold it. I forgot. Oh, it is orange on the other side. <laughs> Click that into place, lovely. Don't know why we would have taken it off in the first place, but there you are. Can I like knock that over? No, it's made of concrete. Can I like... Hmm. So where's he then? He's on a ship or something, I think. Open. Open? No, guess not. What's this? Oh, it's an Xbox Vision camera. Of course. It'd be like, what, 200 years old at this point? Can't remember what the year was in the game. Well, I mean, this is the only door, so... Got a question mark on it though, not a grabby. And talk to this dude, see if he'll let me. Can't sit back down. Cool picture. Put that back. Oh, that's where the music's coming from. Okay, I think I had to terminate the call. I'm not sure, though. So now the door m might be open? No. Am I really stuck in the first room? It's meant to be a chill game. <laughs> okay, let's bring, let's bring, bring back our friend. Hi. Yeah. Looks like it'll rain for Oh. Oh, gosh. There's an energy out there that tells us to Titan. Sure shows the perfect time of the year to Titan, make moon of Jupiter. Uh, oh, he kicked. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Wait, he did it again. I love you, Elf. <laughs> we love you too, Ethan. And missing you so Aww. much. I only left this morning. <laughs> I'm always with you. Even from above. Very funny. Aw, cute. You know, he's acting out. Hang on, I'll go check on him. Frankie, is there another... Is that child... Child number one? Oh, now I can get out of the door. Okay, fair enough. Um... Oh, cool. Francis. Go away. Is, okay. Your father's on. Do you want to say hi? No. You heard that? Yeah. He's locked himself in again. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I installed the parental access pack last night. Maybe it's a good time to... <laughs> parental <laughs> access pack. Privacy whenever I want to? Yeah, pretty much. Mm, let's give it a shot. What do I do? I already sent you an invite. You gotta go to the mainframe and allow the app. Oh, there's an app to uh, <laughs> get into your kid's room. Cool. The future's different. Can't I do it from the risk con? Not the first time. Do you know how much I weigh? A little exercise never hurt anyone. Tell you about it. Oh, loading. You just get back here. You can't run at the moment. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh. Activate mirror. Oh. Well. That was different. Du -du <laughs> oh, that, that would freak me out having a mirror like that. I think it's just like a face fun 
front the front facing camera, isn't it? That's cool. Um what's we got in here? Column Alien Excuses. Your style beyond the borders. Cool. I bet it's all most of the adverts anyway. Tends to be Coral Sky. Feel like that's the name of another game. I could be wrong. <coughs> hmm. See where this door leads, I guess. Oh. Oh, it's a bathroom. Mirror hardware malfunction. Just use a mirror mirror. People are crazy. What's that for? Tunes, I suppose, while you're in the shower or taking a dump. It's got the lights come on as she walks in, but she did say earlier, um, lights on, and then the lights came on. Unless that light active then activates. Hmm, I don't know. That mug. Oh, you can put stuff in your inventory. Okay, a little bit of a puzzle element to it. Cool. Hmm. Oh. Uh. Okay, I must need that. <laughs> Nothing in the top drawer. Folic acid is um, meant to be good for pregnancy, right? It's meant to be a good thing. Oh, that's what I needed the coffee cup for. Cool. Oh, I see. She drank the folic acid. Got it. Can I run yet? No. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, it's a really nice house. Cool. Oh, what's that? Picture of a lizard. Very nice. Um, let's check this one. It's glowing, so go to the glowy places. Another set of stairs there. Oh dear. Power went out again. New place, new she must be in Cali. Our new but sadly not very modern generator may need a simple reboot. <coughs> on the basement stairway from the kitchen storeroom. Once you're there, I'll give you specific instructions. Okay. Okay. Moonshine. Thanks, Moonshine. You're welcome, Starlight. Again, be careful going. Oh, uh, it's so dark. Please don't be a scary game, for the love of God. Oops. Sorry, not that one. Are you serious, Ethan? <laughs> Are you managing okay? Sure. Just being careful, as ordered. Oh, cool. Play the keyboard. Let's say storage basement. Is that food and stuff? Oh wow, there's loads of it. They're gonna be fine. <laughs> food oops. Food supply limited. And go kind of there. For some reason I can't put it over that. Uh, of course you do. There's somewhere there for sure. What if Frank finds it? Don't worry. He's a big boy now. And what can he find in the basement anyway? A dangerous relic. Or I'll find a key. I need you to help me for a second. Excuse me for a moment, love. 
Well, that's green and flashing, and it's not the same as the other things there, so maybe that's it. Basement key. Yeah, there we go. Cool. What the hell was that? Something just... I'm sure something just flew in front of her. I didn't want this game to be scary. It's supposed to be chill. It's supposed to be weekend wind down. Oh, there we go. Somehow she kept her eyes behind when she um, <laughs> bent over to put it in. But that's cool, you know. Suspend disbelief and all that. Hmm... Ah, generator. I'm, uh, of course, the battery dies at the best possible moment. Awesome. Okay. Hello. Oh man, I could not live in a big place like this by myself. Okay. Go to the study room and accept Ethan's parental access pack. It's like life DLC. Why is it still dark though? Just Francis? fix the goddamn jet. Francis. Oh yeah, I forgot the sun was here. There he goes back into his room, I think. Hmm. Oh, that food gone to waste. Look. I adore him, but I know that even if the world depended on it, Ethan would still leave a mess anywhere he goes. I'll ask him to invest in Saho this time when he returns. It will keep Tracy company, and we will all be happy to have the extra help. Is that grey thing there meant to be a cheese grater with no holes? Oh, it does have holes on the other side, actually. Like you can just about see them. Temperature are we at here? 72 and a half. I don't know what that is in Celsius. Minus 30 and... Is that a dog? No. Minus 30, 42, halve it. 21. 21 degrees. About right for a house. That's roughly what I have mine at. I'm not sure if this is... <gasps> pasties! Like proper pasties. Well, actually, not proper pasties, because proper pasties are flat, with a, like, they're like a D-shape. These ones are crimped on top. I was a baker in Cornwall for seven years, so I know, I know all about pasties. <laughs> hmm... Oh, cool, like a little ambulance or something. Uh, Francis? Is that... It's just wine. It's just wine. <laughs> well... Where do I... that's the base... where's the basement then? Oh, downstairs toilet, very posh. Oh. It's gonna be something else when it comes back, is it? Ah, oh, rude. <laughs> Oh, it's shut. that makes sense for that door to automatically shut, I suppose. I don't like how, like, s slow it is. That's what's making me nervous about it. I thought it was just a chill game. But I don't know if it's meant to be scary, atmospheric, whatever. I don't think so. I think it's just me being a pussy. The pussy that I always am. <laughs> um, it's Francis' room. Bathroom. 
So if that's the door I was, that's the room I was, was in. Huh. I don't think I'm meant to be here yet. Oop. Keep exploring downstairs a little bit. These masks and stuff are pretty creepy with this lighting. But, you yeah, know. Yeah, no. I don't know what all these things are. Oh, they're lamps. They're to show you where the lights are. That's actually really, really... I thought that was someone walking past me. Holy shit. I nearly shit myself. <laughs> there are more stairs here, aren't there, somewhere? Oh, I look like eyes. I'm assuming I can't turn these on. No, that'd be too... Too, um... That'd make too much... Well, light. And would, uh... Get rid of the atmosphere. What's that? Paintings. It's a very strange house, isn't it? It's this spa. Oh, cool. This is where the power went out, right? Awesome. Oh my god, these people must be loaded. Oh wow, look at that. The difference between Ethan and me is that he loves water and all water creatures. Well, I would rather be on Mars where water is <laughs> Must be a Pisces. And the largest organism is only visible through a microscope. Although I have uh, a diver in my family from my mother's side. My great grandfather mm. used to swim with a great white shark. I wonder if these are <laughs> Oh. From the moon with love, like a souvenir. You know something, oh. River Lane? What? Your eyes are full of stars. <laughs> much like this rock. Aww. Aww, cute. <laughs> Not too original, is it? Yeah, but we all know. <laughs> Remember watching some stand up, and a guy was like, Can you believe they brought rock back from the moon? It's like, We've got rock. <laughs> It's one thing we got too much. It's rock. Oh, here's some moon rock. Oh, well, here's some earth rock. Fuck off, Neil. <laughs> so, oh, Eddie Izzard. It was part of Eddie Izzard's stand-up. <laughs> well, here's Gaim. The Gaim. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, sauna. Sauna. Oh, sit. Nice. Sauna's offline anyway. Uh, can we turn it on? How do I stand back up? Oh, right, yeah, the cancel button. What am I doing? No time for this now. She says, sitting back down. <laughs> Very nice. This house is crazy. Crazy. A bit of water. Uh, I'll go up to two hours. It's another half hour then, isn't it? And uh, I'm actually pretty tired, which is unusual for me at this time of night. But hey, hey ho! It's meant to be an achievement unlocking this room, apparently. Oh, there it goes! <laughs> just as literally, just as I said that. Funny, funny. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oops. Oh, really though? 
gym. Let's have a look. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, that's cool. What's that? Work harder written down. I can't get to it anyway. Oh, I can't get to any of these. Any of this equipment. Oh, yeah. Mm. 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 Dun, 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 dun. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Mm mm. Uh huh. <laughs> it's made the place less scary. Anyone who knows me knows I love music. I always have music going at home and stuff, except when I'm streaming, obviously. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. I wonder if there's any scar on here. No, it would appear not. <laughs> First track was kind of scary, but not really scar. <laughs> Telling you, he's Pisces. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a garage, garage, if you prefer. Oh, I think it loads each room separately. That's why they're separated by doors. Oh, cool. A Lego bike. Why does it look so... I, I don't know. Maybe that's just the way it's going to be in the future. Okay, can I have a look around? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, drawers... No, there's nothing there. Oh, a toy train! <laughs> it's that bike, is it? Or is restoring it to that? I think it might be a different bike, actually. Oh, I don't know. That might be his aim, though, is to restore that. That's cool. Uh, I can't take it, so... <clears throat> Is this the stairs I came down initially, or...? Why does she keep making that noise? Oh, I guess because she's pregnant. Um... 4377? Do I have to, like... Oh, okay. Um... I can't remember what she said. 4... Four seven two. I guess so. Oh, that's a nice chair here. Look. They're like what kind? This is like a the sort of house, dream house I build for my Sims. It isn't like a. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, she's. I just noticed she's wearing sandals, flip flops, thongs. I mean, she's not wearing uh, socks with them, I suppose. There is that. Hmm, this is nice. It's a little bit creepy, actually. I'm not sure I like that. Hmm. <coughs> There's a thing for sitting in all the chairs. Yeah, that's why I've been sitting in the chairs. I can't believe none of the lights work. Oh, what's going on here? Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Why is she making such strange noises? Like, hmm, 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 hmm. It's like at the MP3 where I wasn't load properly or something. Okay. Oh, I'll go the other way around so I can actually get behind the desk, shall I? Hi, I'd like the Invade Kids Privacy DLC, please. Oh, smart bracelet charging. That's good. That's good. 
Uh, oh, that'll be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You execute the embedded override function in Home Hub, and it'll unlock the doors in the house. Oh, cool. Oh, is that good? Oh! <sighs> Rest thing. Oh, fast charged. Cool. Can I, like, is there... Oh, there we go. Aww. To Norse. <laughs> Thor. Hmm. Lucian. Lucius. Luscious. <laughs> Uh, sure. Yes. Hi. You give me a heart attack, right? <laughs> Sorry, my battery went out and a Frankenstein-like monster showed up, but I killed it with a smile. I spilled my moon back because of you. You can't spill stuff in zero G. Such a smart ass belongs in study. He already finished the job in the study. So, today I was accused of making the weather bad and also, quote, dooming him to exile, quote, <laughs> boring. Typical child. He actually said that you doomed him to exile? Uh-huh. <laughs> he also said he preferred the weather on Mars ten times more. That's because he hasn't been oh, baited. Ripped your nose off the moment you stick it out. I told him that. I don't know, but I think he has a master plan to drive me crazy. Well, don't forget. I think the character moves slow to make sure the dialogue gets spoken. I think. So now theoretically she should speed up a little bit, yeah. I think that's the way, the way that it's done it. Some really cool pictures and stuff. I'm guessing that they were all like stock photos or something. I thought that she moved in that picture, but I might just be tripping. Francis. Oh, what if he's masturbating though? Um, why does it seem so like something's gonna scare? Oh. Why? Why? So that beach ball from earlier. Okay, this seems scary and I don't think it should be. Mm. Something scares me. I am out of here. There's a computer and stuff. Toys toy. Um. Huh. Well, he's asleep, so. I can't get back out. So obviously there's something in here to do. And she's moving incredibly slowly. And I don't like it. Literally if one thing scares me, I'm gone. I am out of here. I can't interact with anything over here, can I? That's as far as I can walk, for some reason. Guess that dividing line is... No, I can't interact with any of that. This is creeping me out. Francis? Oh! Made me jump. Huh? Um. I can see the Matrix. Oh! Um, oh, 
Oof. What? You have to go, to go find, find your mother. mother. Frankie? Blue? The hell is going on? Lou? Didn't you say the baby was going to be called, like, Lucius or something? What the fuck? My brain. This is meant to be a chill game. <laughs> a paradigm shift is meant of such magnitude that the probability of a human individual to affect it by not participating is negligibly no. Okay. Oh, that's the end of chapter one. Awesome. That was really strange, though. Really strange. Has it crashed or <laughs> loading the next chapter, right? Ah, there we go. The hell? Oh, it's like upside down, because there's like a shark there, look. Oh my god, what is this game? I don't think it's a chill game. Oh, I'm stretching, you all did. Sorry about that. Go to bed, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'll, um... What's with the fr Oh god, I was going to say what's with the frame rate, and then that happened. Um, get out, get out. Not that way. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Something strange is happening. Can't get out of that door. Oh. What the hell, man? What was that? Also, why is the frame rate so terrible? I mean, this is the only door. Kazumi, Voyager 1231 River, Alea, Catherine Jones, requesting assistance to exit. <gasps> Catherine Zeta Jones. Um. Yeah, it's upside down. Is it? Is this a baby girl? Huh? Okay. Oh, a whale. Oh my gosh. Um. Oh. The hell is going on? Did I like die or is that part of the narrative or Again? Oh, yes, yeah, part of the narrative, okay. She really should lay off the LSD. Uh, tomorrow I'm recording more Dead Space. I've got two more episodes ready to go to put onto YouTube, but I want to keep ahead of it. So this this stream probably won't go up now. Twelve thirty one River Alea Catherine Jones requesting assistance to exit. The hell. I guess there's no maze this time. And then the sun comes up, yeah, or down, or whatever. And then there'll be a crib, and then an orb. 
better not. Is this a baby crib? Oh. oh. It did still let me walk into it then. Okay, chat was uh, is over the bottom right hand corner, so I didn't see that picture initially. That picture in picture thing. Can't do anything, can't look around or anything. Kazumi, Voyager 1231 River, Alea, Catherine Jones, requesting assistance to exit. <gasps> oh. Is this this character Nasha? I think the colours are all a bit more screwy. Might just be me. No, because there was definitely only one sun before, right? Oh. Okay. Oh, oh no. So that's... Okay, that happened again. <laughs> It's the breathing. It's very, very strange. Oh, uh, um, um. <laughs> okay. Um. Like, was that supposed to happen, or did I break the game? I guess continue. Did they just build an unstable game or did they put that into the narrative? Um Okay. What's going on? I think that was new narrative. So was that part of the game? I don't I don't know. Just keep going. Kazumi, Voyager twelve thirty one River, Alea, Catherine Jones. Oh that's the same as the first time I was in here, right? So Oh, and in the sun, and then the sun. Oh, there it is. So it's still all not quite right. Oh yeah, that happened as well, right? Okay, I think it actually just reset. Okay, I'm not going into the orb this time. A freaking shark now? Oh, it was a oh, there's a sh Okie dokie. I don't know if this is like a screen or a window or... 
think the whole thing's meant to be a bit like question questionable, isn't it? Is that blood? Can't quite make out what that is because it's in eight bit for some reason. Yeah, I don't think this is a chill game so much as a what the fuck's going on game. Can't really make it out very well. Oh, glitchy. It's like they built a game full of glitches and just said, yeah, that can be the game. Oh, shit. Ethan. Uh... What the f actual Kazumi? fuck? Kazumi, come in. Kaz? Hmm. Oh. Did I do that? Did I do that? Again? Do I need to interact with it or? Oh, something came up then, didn't it? Can't find it again now. Oh, there we go. Okay, of course. It's just weird, isn't it? Just odd. Like, there's no other... Come up. Oh, oh. Is that, is that her blinking? Oh, the door's open. The crib's gone, but the blood from the shark, the neon shark is still there. Or the dolphin, rather. Okay, that's all very, very strange. Okay. In a corner. Oh, I'll probably push it. Oh, no, it's already going. I can't move either. Oh, no. Um. Explore the galaxy. Feels like the galaxy's exploring me. Okay. okay. She's just like, okay. Um. Um. Okay. Oh. Um. So now I'm just on a platform. Well, this started off pretty sensibly. Now it's just... A oh, God. That's just a complete mind fuck. Oh, cool. Haha. <laughs> Um. Oh. Um. <laughs> it's like that one Lincoln Park video. I honestly have no idea. What the fuck is going on? Like, as far as I was aware, this is just like a chill walking simulator. But, turns out it's just... I don't even know. Um... I mean, it's still going. 
Limited movement. Oh, I'm not in control anymore. Well, I don't feel like I ever was, to be honest. Oh, it's gone now. Oh! Uh, well, I mean, it ha has to be, right? Kazumi joins. What is this, like, Zoom? Future Zoom. Can I, like... I can't go up there, though. Oh, he's coming to me. Was she? With me. He. Kaz, what happened? There was an interference. That's the guy from the beginning, right? What interference? Something in here. I can't. I can't read the faces. Interesting. You can't. I suggest to speak in private. Come to Netscan. I need to examine you anyway. Why do I need to be examined? I'm executing a force shutdown now. So is she now... Was that initial thing, was her becoming an AI, perhaps? And now she's all, like, corrupted and shit? She's gonna all Cortana on him? I don't know, this is very messed up. Like, I just can't make any sense of it at all, really. Um, but hey, we got Stormboy done. <laughs> Yeah, it's meant to be like a chill game, apparently. But it turns out not so much. It's more of just a head, bit of head feckery. Uh, I don't know. I think I am going to save and leave it here, though. I don't know if I'll play this on stream, because I kind of want to pay a lot of attention to it, and obviously it's difficult to do that while... Um, on the same level while you're quote unquote entertaining. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm moving. I think I. Oh, there's a child there. Oh, went through him. I'm gonna leave this here though, the stream here. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm not sure this will end up on YouTube because it is just like a chill out, just you know, just come and join me type thing, get chatting. Um, but I'll see you. I'll not stream tomorrow, but Monday, uh, will be likely. But I'll put a thing up on Facebook as I always do anyway, and um, hopefully, I'll see you there or read you there <laughs> as the case may be right. easy enjoy the rest of your evening and indeed the rest of your weekend bye